Before we jump into today's guide for Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, I just want to mention the fact that at the time of editing and recording this video, I'm actually 10 subs away from a whopping 20,000, which is pretty amazing. So by the end of the video, if you've actually enjoyed this beginner's guide video and you're not subscribed yet, take the time to do that and we'll see if we can smash that 20,000 barrier. Now, for the beginner's guide anyway today, we'll check out everyone's favourite lethal protector, Venom. So in the video, we'll start off by having a look at his overview and his stats. We'll then check out his abilities. Next up is the top 10 team bonuses. We'll then have a look at his synergies, build options follow on from that and the optimal ISO 8 to use on him. We'll have a look at his alternative costume and then we'll finish up with a quick summary. So let's jump in and we'll start off with the overview. Venom then plays exactly as you would expect, he's a big hulking brute of a character, he can take a huge amount of damage and he can actually put out a huge amount of damage as well. Now when we look at his tags they're a bit all over the place so that means when it comes to build options we don't have a lot. But he's got a melee tag, a projectile tag, an energy tag and also a piercing tag as well. His hero trait is web sling and super strength. Super strength, when you can pick up your larger items and throw them, it is worthwhile doing it because it's actually saving you energy and you can do a decent amount of damage and web sling helps you get around the levels nice and quick. When we look at his stats, he does exceptionally well. His strength comes in at a C. That is a bit of a pity because his hardest hitting skill would be based on strength, but his vitality, mastery and resilience all come in at an A rating. Durability is a B, so with those defensive stats he can make a nice tank and we'll talk about that when we get to the build options section. And then finally his energy comes in at a C. So that's the overview, let's now have a look at his abilities. First ability we have here is Venom Fang, this is a very iconic looking skill, it reminds me of the deadly mob build for Venom in Marvel Heroes Omega. Now this will be your primary stagger skill but it can do a decent amount of damage as well. You can see damage comes in at a B and your stagger comes in at an A. It's also a gap closer as well so if there's an elite or a boss you can use this to get in their face and pull down their stagger bar at the same time. The next ability we have here is Dark Web, it's exceptionally underwhelming and one that I wouldn't really use on Venom at all. Now it does make sense that it's part of his kit because Venom can actually throw out webbing as well but mechanically it's just really not fun to use, it's a bit too slow and Venom primarily as a melee character, the way he's set up, the fact he's tanky and the fact the majority of his skills are all about being in close range so this particular ability I really wouldn't invest in it or use it at all. The next ability we have here is Symbiote Surge and this one definitely makes up for the previous one being a bit lacklustre. So this one you make a pool of Symbiote, burst up from the ground, slowing enemies for a short time. Now the slow on it, I wouldn't really say it is noticeable at all but you're not using it for the slow, you're using it for the damage because you can see the damage rating is up at A and in this gameplay footage you're hitting for around about 30,000 and that's without any specialised gear on Venom either so it really does hit hard. Now because this is your main damage skill what you'll do is you'll use Venom Fang first to get in the enemy's face if it's an elite or a boss to break their stagger bar and then you'll follow up with this and you'll do a heap of damage on them. The final ability we have here is Living Weapon. This particular one you'll use to take out your smaller trash, especially when you are surrounded by them because the attack will fire out tendrils in every direction to take them out. Now with the abilities then you've got Venom Fang used to break the stagger gauge, you have Symbiote Surge used once the stagger gauge is broken on elites and bosses and then you've got this particular skill to take out your trash. So it does cover all the, the bases in regards to the dark web once again really underwhelming and one that I just wouldn't use that at all. But that's the abilities so let's now have a look at his top 10 team bonuses. Now before we do go into the top 10 team bonuses here I've seen some comments in the latest beginner's guides in regards to the actual selection we're using here. So this is the best bonuses you can get in the game, it's way up at 23%. Now when we break these 
down, these bonuses necessarily won't be the optimal ones for the hero that we're covering in the beginner's guide, but they will be the way you can get the highest percent increase for your whole team. Now, because you are playing as a team and you're not playing as an individual hero, that's the reason I've chosen to go for the, the best team bonuses overall rather than let's just say if you're running scarlet witch running a team that would give you specifically mastery so i've avoided doing that because i want to buff the whole team not just a single character saying all that in the actual description of this video there is a link to the spreadsheet so if you want to really focus in on a particular character and a stat type for them then you can just click on that link and you can filter the spreadsheet to find it out but if we look at the top 10 team bonus here anyway it's black widow electra and wolverine comes in at 23 percent that consists of eight percent strength three percent mastery five percent resilience 4% Vitality and 3% Energy, so a nice amount you can gain there. Now next up, let's have a look at the Synergies. When it comes to Synergy Attacks, you do have a decent number of options available. That's due to Venom having four Synergy Traits, one on each of his skills. So he's got Bash, Rapid Fire, Launch and Charge, and you can see you can get quite a few different Synergy Attacks from them. In regards to the characters he synergizes best with, we've got Star-Lord, Crystal, Ghost Rider 4 and also Wolverine. The bottom five characters you want to avoid if you're looking to do synergy attack damage, so that's if you're maybe in an Infinity Trial where you need to do a set amount. That would be Loki, Nightcrawler, Rocket and Groot, Thanos and then finally, once again, Scarlet Witch at the bottom of the list there. So that's all the synergies, let's have a look at the build options that are available. When it comes to build options for Venom, I would say there's two that's available. Now the first one, the Brawler one, really simple setup here. The reason being the different tags that he has for the skills we're using. So you'd be using a skill that's got an energy tag, a melee tag, and also the piercing tag. When we look at his light and heavy attacks as well, his light attack is affected by strength, his heavy attack is affected by mastery. So for that reason, you just want to use your standard damage increase of 16.5, and that will apply to everything. Also, you can increase the crit hit chance by 8% as well there. If you want to run him as a tank, and you can do that due to his exceptionally high defensive stats, you would put on an increased vitality by 9.8%. You'll get really good returns from that. Gain 3.4% hit point recovery every 10 seconds. Increased damage resistance by 155 And finally, but probably the most important one for a tank, increase their likelihood of being targeted by 44.5%. So that's the brawler and tank setup. Let's now have a look at his alternative costume. At the time of recording this video then, we don't have any nice alternative costumes for Venom. It's just a simple recolouring that came with Launch Low. The one thing I did notice with this recolouring is it actually changes the colour of his attacks as well. So I'm curious if we get maybe like a Toxin and an Anti-Venom costume. Will that also change the colour of his attacks? Fingers crossed, because that would be a really nice touch there. But this particular costume one, you unlock it as you're playing through the superior difficulty mode. Now, let's just finish up with a quick summary. As mentioned at the start of the video then, Venom plays exactly as you would expect for him. He's a character that I mentioned he can take a huge amount of damage and he can actually put out a real nice amount of damage as well. They've got all these attacks looking really nice and the posture of him, the way he runs, he really does feel pretty menacing as well now. Despite all that, the fact that he's good on paper, his skills are all good, with the exception of Dark Web, he didn't personally click for me. I'm not able to put my finger on what it was, because I do quite like Venom, but I'm just not sure. I think I've been spoiled with some of the other characters I've looked at recently, the likes of Wolverine and Nightcrawler, who in my mind are absolutely amazing. So Venom is a really good character, but personally he's not for me. Now, let me know in the comments below if you're running Venom, if you're enjoying them. Let me know what character you would like to see next after Cyclops and Colossus. Your fingers crossed will be coming tomorrow. And thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you all again soon.